So I actually used to work in a warehouse, and I know that sounds kind of dry, but it's a lot more interesting than you'd expect. And one of the processes I got to see every single day was called order picking. Order picking is exactly what it sounds like. It's when the warehouse workers go inside, get the items, and ship them off to you. Um, but it's pretty hard. Imagine just holding giant stacks of paper, a bulky barcode scanner that only works half the time, and wandering through racks for eight to 10 hours a day. It's a really difficult job. And it's also really expensive. It's about 60% of the operational costs of warehouses, which is millions of dollars per year per warehouse. So we're building an augmented reality application that makes order picking faster and more accurate. So uh, Amazon uses robotic systems, and actually one of the things that we were thinking about when we were researching how this process works is why not robotics? Um, and one of the real big issues is there's a lot of technological detriments that are still in place today. So for example, identifying different items for 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 items, it's really difficult. And picking out specific items, what seems really natural to pick up for me, like I can pick up a shampoo bottle and a, and a bottle of toothpaste really easily, but robots can't really do that. So robotic systems for item picking are 10 to 20 years away at least. And I, Amazon actually uses a similar system, but they are doing routing. So this would also help them. Um, actually, the first time I played with the HoloLens was in the garage um, in the HoloHacks, um, HoloHacks, which was a hackathon in December. That was over a year ago. Um, and since then, we've actually migrated to quite a few other headsets besides the HoloLens, like Google Glass. Yeah, so I, I go to Georgia Tech currently, so I'm still a student, um, which kind of binds me to Atlanta. But Atlanta is something else. Like, it is my home, and whenever I leave and I come back, I'm just so shocked by how much I love it here. It's so weird because I would have expected going to like some far off place like Silicon Valley and, and just being in love with the tech and, and everything, but you have so much stuff here. Like, you have Georgia Tech, which has so much talent and amazing people and mentors, um, but then there's also the simple fact that it's so cheap. Like, I could go to Publix <laughs> and buy a pub sub and rent is cheap and it's so nice. Um, so we went through Atlanta Startup Battle and that was really, really helpful. We ended up winning, shockingly. <laughs> uh, Atlanta Startup Battle was a really, really great event. Um, one of the best parts about it was the day the few days leading up to it where we went through this really intense mentorship session and we just pitched each time. And every single time we pitched, we would change quite a bit and we just rewrite from the drawing board. And even right now, I have a completely different pitch than we had at Atlanta Startup Battle. So it's all that constant process of iteration um, that I thought was really helpful. Lately, we started three separate pilots in Atlanta. So we're really excited about that and they're going pretty well. In fact, some of the warehouse managers are spending six hours of their week making sure that this goes well, which shows that they're excited. Think about it, why do we have smartphones? It's this idea that somehow contextual information is important. And smartphones have permeated every single aspect of our existence. And I think mixed reality and augmented reality is gonna do the same thing. It's the exact same idea, right? Contextual information is somehow important. So why not contextual in the environment?